I think that's the, been the whole problem with trying to show people what I do, is that it is all the wrong way around. It's the wrong way of painting, it's upside down, back to front, I've got to cut bits out, I've got to put them through. It doesn't work, it shouldn't work, but I made it work. I wanted to do something that was different. I didn't, I, I'd done so many fine art pictures, so many fine art drawings, so many drawings of, pencil drawings of 500 hours, that it's, I've gone so far with it, but um, I wanted always to do something different. I wanted to try and do something that no one had done before. Um, I'd seen glass paintings, Chinese um, back to front paintings, and I was obsessed by that, wanted to try and do that but I think it just wanted to do something that would test me, I think. That's something that I wanted to do, yeah. The whole premise of my work is about doing it back to front. So I'm painting a foreground first, I'm painting background last. So I'm painting through the painting, starting at the front, and working further and further away, completely backwards to what you normally do. So I'm doing, uh, part of the painting first that's the nearest and letting that dry for a couple of weeks and then adding further and further away through the painting. So the last thing we paint is probably the Milky Way as, as the last thing we'll do. I think the work's very different in the way that you can see it. The way that the light affects the painting is very different from a normal painting. It's very flat, it doesn't have any texture to it. We have the window in the back and you can see how it's been painted from the back and it's nothing like what you see on the front. And I think it is nearly an illusion that you aren't quite seeing what you think you're seeing. We wanted to go do Scotland and uh, I think the first idea was we just wanted to go and see the night sky. That was the main objective. But uh, but no, just to have a family holiday and all be part of something. The kids have always been with me in all the things we've ever done. If we're out, out walking, sunsets, sunrises, all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, to bring the kids into because they're very much interested with the telescope and so forth. They um, they wanted to be part of it. I think they wanted they they see me doing it every day. My studio's at home, so. Uh, they get to see me painting all the time. And I think they just, uh, yeah, they wanted uh, more of the Milky Way, I think. I think with COVID and so forth, we, we did seem to think, before we were having to travel to go and find the Auroras, go find the rest of the world, I suppose. But um, we wanted to look close to home and see what the UK was all about as well. And the family has roots in Scotland, and I think we wanted to uh, engage the kids in that as well and coupling that with uh, the night sky as well was uh, it's perfect. And uh, near the Isle of Skye was probably one of the darker points of um, Scotland as well, so we can uh, see everything in one. And uh, yeah, we wanted to go up there, my son's got the drone, we wanted to do some drone flying as well um, and experience everything Scotland's got to offer. My daughter's very uh, into her photography and uh, I think with the thing for her was getting a telescope set up and so we would be able to see it off the lake and how we would film it and where we would film it, what, what shots we could get. She's a big fan of the uh, Beetlejuice star, so she wanted to get films of that. So we had a big list of things we wanted to get done. Yeah, <laughs> when, we, when we're up there, she's just trying to see, where's that star, where's this star? So we have our app out on the phone and we're trying to work out where all the stars are. But um, yeah, very busy girl. I think the light pollution that we get is a bit of a problem in the cities. But I do hope that people can get out of the city and go and see the Milky Way for themselves because sometimes you just can't see it. and. Uh, 
is something to be obsessed by. Oh, you know, many, many years ago, that's all you'd ever see. And uh, yeah, now you don't see as much. I think just having, traveling and being out in the night sky and observing what happens and what, what the atmosphere is like is what I want to try and put in the painting. And uh, yeah, I think um, just traveling around and trying to see all those things and getting the kids to take the photographs and getting my son to do the drone is, is gets, gets us a whole feeling of what it's like when we're there. And uh, yeah, a big family effort to try and make uh, Scotland turn up on the painting. The Infinite Collection is just something I've, I've been wanting to paint for a long time. Uh, space has always been something, well, the universe and the galaxy is something that I've always been very obsessed by. And to combine it with our beautiful world we live in, I'll try and do that too. I've been obsessed by painting different techniques, um, but I've also been obsessed by the Milky Way itself. Um, I think when you go out at night and you can't quite see it, or can you see it, that kind of feeling, um, and then to uh, see the Milky Way is something I've been obsessed with, and to be able to be obsessed with trying to paint something and paint one of the things you're passionate about as well. So yeah, combining the two, I mean, it's both my hobbies, I suppose, painting and the stars, putting them all together. Yeah, it keeps me very busy. So we've got dark days, bright nights is like a waterfall and that's uh, reminiscent of our time in Iceland and it's the, uh, one of the waterfalls that we saw and it, it's just uh, such an iconic moment that we did on our travels. I've always wanted to paint it and so uh, that's make it very iconic for the kids to remember that as well. Um, and it's quite nice to do it in black and white as well, give it a bit of a vintage look as well. Our Magical Land is uh, another piece that we've, uh, I've always wanted to do in black and white. I've, I've wanted to do black and white more to test myself, um, not necessarily for just because it looks nice. It's just that I've wanted to try and test myself on how I can make a painting work with such a limited amount of colour. Um, I've always liked black and white photography, but I was wondering could I do that in the painting world as well? And I do like to do a painting because it's difficult. I don't want to do a painting because it's easy. Um, I want to try and test myself. I want to try and test myself all the time on how can I can make a glass painting work. And uh, this is definitely a way to do it. I think I'm not, I'm not making it as a perfect photograph. I'm making it as more as what's in my mind and what I've seen. And I come back and go, oh, do you remember how it, how it arched over the top of us? And, I think I just want to make that feeling of awe when you're watching it as well. It's all in good paint taking a photograph, but I think it is, uh, uh, when I've painted it, it's something more than that. And I, it reminds me of the time where, we're, where we were and how lucky we are to be able to see it and to be able to see it every day at home. That's pretty cool.